welcome back to the channel. My name is Rebecca and you're watching Rebecca's A Channel. Today is sadly the last Mukami boy for the history of Diabolical Lovers and you guys know who that is. Today it's about Azusa. I can't pronounce his name so sorry about that there. Before I begin this video let me know guys if you guys would like to see Carol Hines, Cordelia and people like that for the next time. I am going to be doing Sheen, Carla and Yui but I want to know if you guys would like to see them as well to make the series longer so if you want to see Carl Hines and Cordelia and things like that guys let me know in the comments down below that's gonna really help me so thank you there but before we start this video please subscribe to the channel half of you guys are watching these aren't even subscribed if you like the history series then why aren't you subscribing to the channel come on on. We need you guys here to give me support for making this series on the channel so if you like what you see then subscribe because I post on a Wednesday, a Friday and a Sunday. So if you like anime stuff, fashion stuff and little random things as well then hey subscribe and you get to see more of me. Also go follow me on my social media. I will leave it down there for you so you should go check out my Instagram. Now that that's all over why don't we get into the history of Azusa Mugami. Also, before I begin this video, as you guys know, all the information for these videos is coming from the Diabolical Lover Wiki fandom. So if you would like to go and support them or see more of our Azusa in this video, I will leave links to that in my description box down below. So please make sure if you want to see more information, then please make sure you go and support them. Thank you. Okay, so let's talk about Azusa Mogami. So Azusa was born on October the 28th and he is 17 years old. As we know, like most of the boys in the fandom, sadly we do not know what year they were born in because again, they are not real. His normal race was a human, but as we all know in the diabolical of our fandom, he is a vampire. So let's move on to Azusa's personality. So he is clingy. He is also extremely sadistic as well. Doesn't surprise anyone there at this point. Doesn't surprise me, doesn't surprise you. Let me know, it doesn't surprise me at this point. He is also fainted hearted as well. He also enjoys to injure himself as well, but he also enjoys to do that by injuring himself and harming himself. He also talks really slowly as well like I mean he talks really slowly he could be that person to just you know if you're in a class and your teacher's just talking very slowly and you're just sitting there and you're like <sighs> yeah he is that boy to just put you to sleep as well he always does what he wants to his heart's content so why don't we now go on to his history when Azusa was a child he actually actually used to wander around on the streets. He does not have any knowledge of his birth parents sadly. In his past in Dark Fate it actually suggested that he was living with gypsies. He also nearly starved to death and it wasn't until the gypsies that they actually went and helped him and saved him from this. It also implies that he also may be one as well just because he still felt that his existence in this world had no meaning. So in this gypsy family they were three children who sadly used to beat up Azusa. Now in the actual anime you may see a scene from his backstory where he was in the streets where these kids were beating him up and he actually went and asked them to beat him up. However the more they abused Azusa, Azusa would begin to laugh. Like I said he actually enjoyed getting beat up by them and felt like the pain he endured was the proof that he was alive. So like I was saying he actually did enjoy getting beat up because it, it made him feel like he was alive and he was a part of this world and he actually had a meaning. So that is why he enjoyed it. This also means that his life had a purpose when his pain actually brought him happiness to those children and made them feel better because he felt useful when and they took out all their anger on him. That's really sad that he's actually letting them kids beat him up to the point where he could be bleeding and really suffering just so they can release all the anger out and make them feel 
happy again. So like I said, he's letting them all do this because he wants to feel like he actually has a purpose in life. So let's move on. So one day, these three children who were beating Asasa actually went and tried to rob an aristocrat mansion, but sadly were caught and actually killed on the spot. When Asasa found out that these children were killed, he started crying since no one was alive to beat him up. He was later approached by a policeman who told him that he would take care of it. The police officer knew the three thieves had treated him badly because he thought Asasna finally got his revenge against them and was happy about their deaths. So it actually went to show that, that the policeman actually helped Asasna get his revenge and get death on these, you know, kids for beating him up. And at least, at least he was happy about it at the end. Asasna at this point wasn't happy because he thought his life was pointless again. Asasna wandered on the streets and fainted in front of a a shop. The shopkeeper kicked him and saying that Azizna was affecting his business. But Azizna basically just laughed and said, haha, kick me, kick me more. The shopkeeper thought that he was disgusting and brought Azizna to the gang. The gang that all of the boys went to so far with the Mukamis. And this is where it now gets a bit confusing with the gang and everything. So basically what happened is they got he got taken to this gang. One of the gang members actually started to befriend him and things like that, but it didn't really go well. The others came and actually started to beat him up due to the fact he was with the thieves that stole from that aristocrat mansion. And because of him getting beat up again, this made Azasa feel alive again and feel like he was wanted. Now, the next part with this, I'm not gonna go into because it is quite graphic and it's quite upsetting for some people. So I'm not gonna go into that there, but if you do want to read it, like down below, I don't want to mention it here because it is quite upsetting because again, he has knives so we can all imagine, but I don't want to talk about it. So we're not going to talk about that here. But basically, after after what happened is that they met up with Rookie, they tried to get their escape plan and again unfortunately failed and were also then killed at the end. But that is when Carl Himes found them and made them a vampire. My Tamagotchi just decided that it wanted to evolve in the middle of this video so you can have see what it turns into. Oh my god he's so cute! Oh my god my camera's not focusing but he's adorable. There he is. Side ran over there. So yeah, after Carol Hines met him, he turned him into a vampire and that's basically where his story is. Like I said, if you want to see that more upsetting part, then I'll put it down there because I don't want to talk about it in this video. So let's get into some of his traits. He addresses Yui as Eve, but apparently in the English dub, he addresses Yui as Miss Eve. To be honest with you, I've never heard him call her Miss Eve in the English dub. Someone quote me if that's actually a thing. Never heard her be called that in the English dub. I don't know, I might be wrong, but someone let me know, but I don't think he does. He is also left-handed. He has a knife collection that he shows Yui in more blood, which is true. He is incredibly weak against the heat me. He is also able to sleep standing up. There you go. That was the history of Azusa. Like I said in the beginning of the video, please let me know if you guys want to see like Cordelia and things like that for the next. Again, someone lets me know again. Next week will be either Carl or Sheen. So look forward to that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I do have a playlist on the channel. I'll leave it in my description for you all. If you want to see the Sakamaki boys or you want to see more of the Mukami boys, I do have a whole playlist. I know some people have been asking me on certain videos, do like or do this, but I have already done them all guys. I do have a playlist on the channel, so please go check it out. Anyway guys, hope you all had a fantastic Wednesday. Hope you all have a good day, whatever you're doing in the world. And remember guys, don't be scared to be a different. Bye!